that could have gone better, but it didn't. I just had a lot of arguments in the job. The orange dragon I don't care about. But that red bird and guy in the western outfit were petty over ordering food. There was that skeleton I questioned about how he was going to have his order. I still don't believe him. One thing that makes him less worse than that other skeleton at Q barbecue is that he doesn't try to order something retarded. But he was still very ludicrous. Then finally that big penguin named, King DDD was it? Anyway, this is the 61st time that I've been fired. Where should I work next? I've got a great idea. I'll get a job at a hotel. Why didn't I think of this before? Welcome to the hotel. How may I help you? I want to reserve a couple hours to the hotel's outdoor pool since I'm on vacation. Wait a second. I noticed something shiny in your eye. What is that? That's not allowed to be in a place like this. You mean the gem in my eye? What about it? There's no rule I can't have it. Really? Of course that's been a rule. Why does that not apply to you? Well, I've been to many places before, and no one's questioned why I have this gem in my eye socket. That's ridiculous. My question is, did you ever go places without it? Well, yes. But since I was in an accident that got my left eye taken out, I wanted to have the gem in its place. Seriously? Has anyone ever asked you about it in other places that are not restaurants, stores, or places like this? Yes. I've heard that a lot from my friend Chip Alexander. Hey! No one says that stupid purple shy guy's name in front of me. He's one of my most hated shy guys and characters of all time. Hey, chill out. I didn't know you would get angry at me mentioning Chip Alexander, the shy guy. You just said his name again. Stop it right now. Look, I have a certain list of characters I dislike with a passion. And when I see them or even hear of them, I get insane. So, will you take my request to the outdoor pool now? We just had a talk about me mentioning Chip Alexander. You just said his name again. You know what, since you keep mentioning Chip, get out of this place right now. I seriously think you are a shy guy now although you don't appear like one. Wow. You're a big jerk. I'm going to find another hotel to stay at. Welcome to the hotel. How may I help you? I would like to rent a room on the third floor. Okay. That will be $500,000. Come on. I know you're just playing a joke on me. What's the actual price? It's $500,000. That's that. But the cost of one night is $56. You're just a liar whose pants are on fire you stupid yellow sponge. Calm down dude. There's no need to get angry. Still, I think you're the one lying. Alright, I have had it. Get out of here now. Okay, thanks for the chat. You're not welcome. Welcome to the hotel. How may I help you? Okay, what are you doing here in the lobby dressed like a ninja and assassin hybrid? I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave before you get in trouble. Okay, first of all, I need to know where the hotel buffet is. Second, there's no rule that I can't wear these clothes here. Of course, if I had no top on, I wouldn't be here now. I get the point. But the hotel buffet is closed due to the kitchen catching on fire and all the food is out right now. Come back when the kitchen gets hosed and we have more food. That's not even true. First of all, it's only 1 in the afternoon, and the food shouldn't run out quickly. Second, if the kitchen caught on fire, it would have been an emergency. You don't believe me because you can't see the kitchen from here. Get a clue you ninja. I'm not a ninja. I'm just a Smash Brothers fighter. Also, if the kitchen is on fire, how come I see people heading into the buffet? Come on dude. I just got here to stay for a day. I don't care if you just got here. Get out of here before I call security. I'm tired of this. You just wasted my time here. I'm going to find another place to stay at. Welcome to the hotel. How may I help you? I would like a room please. And I would like it on the second floor. Sorry, but all the rooms on that floor have already been booked. 
come back next time when at least one is vacant. That doesn't look true at all, because since today is not even a holiday, there isn't that many people staying here right now. Well no craps given. Now I'm going to see what floor you will be in and I don't want any complaining so just stick with what you get. Okay, that doesn't even make any sense. You know, I'm a customer, so wherever I specifically want to be, you have to give it to me. Otherwise, that's just violating the rules. Well, I'm still not getting you a room on the second floor. So just pick a different floor or leave. Seriously, do you treat all your customers like this? I just got here. So no, I'm not going anywhere until you give me the room I want and that's final. Either you get out or I will get you out by force. This hotel should be a one star because of you. Now I have to find another place to stay no thanks to you. Welcome to the hotel. How may I help you? Hey asswipe. I'm not here to stay. I'm looking for a little scum named RYB8 Master. Wait. You know RYB8 Master? What could you possibly want from him? Let's just say if I have some business to deal with him after he completely made a petty rant about me and my fans on his YouTube channel. Oh wow. First Vince the Sesame Street fan, and now, you I guess. Another enemy of that clay or RYB8 Master. Will he ever run out of enemies? This is just nice. Ah. This seems like a good hotel for me and my family to check in for a couple of nights. Oh no. I'd better run. Come back here you faggot. I'm settling the score with you right here, right now. No. Stop. Don't do this in here. Noah is crazy. I immediately regret coming here. Get over here. Don't you freaking run away from me. No. Guys. Stop. You're going to destroy the hotel. Please stop. You're too slow Noah, or should I say, a tarster. Catch me if you can. Get over here. No. Guys. I'm going to get fired big time. Stop. Ha 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 ha. I'm going to escape. Oh crap. What a mess. Thank god they're gone now. But what should I do now? My boss is going to get mad. Oh no. He's back. And I didn't even have time to clean all this up. Levi Ackerman. I'm back. How's everything? What the heck? Why are all the couches, tables, and lamps have been knocked over? Um, 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 um. Whatever you do boss, don't look all around you. What do you mean don't? Boss. No. It's not what it looks like. I didn't do any of this. Please believe me. Hey everyone. Chip here. As you may know, you're wondering, did Levi get fired? He sure did. Not only that, his boss told him he had to pay a fine of $200,000 for the damages. That means he will basically start over. At least with his money. That's all I needed to say. See you in episode 63. I'll see you later. Bye.